Hi there, let's get started. An instructional video to use the teeter. This one's going to be short and condensed so you know exactly what to do. And step number one is to wear a good pair of shoes, preferably lace-ups, but you need to wear a good pair of shoes, not slippers like I have on right now with my pajamas. I will be taking them off, putting the shoes on, with a pair of socks. So that's rule number one, and that comes straight from the informational video that I took the time to watch and review and read all the instructions on the teeter table. I'm gonna save you time and take you through the vis visual motions and instructions as recommended on teeter. So let's get started. Step number two, put the dog away. Come on, Max. Good boy. Boy, oh, that's a good boy. And make sure you close her up and lock her up because that's the safest place for him to be while you're on the teeter and the safest place for you to be while he's on the while you're on the teeter. And now he's wondering about the cat. Yep, cat needs to be put away too. Right, Pika? Put the cat away. Good boy, stay in there for a little bit while mommy's on the teeter, okay? It's the safest place for you to be while mommy's on the teeter. I'll come back and get ya. Love you. Ergonomic ankle locks. Change your shoes. Don't wear slippers. Put your socks on. And put on a good pair of shoes. Sturdy. Really shouldn't be slip-on. They should be hide shoes, but this is better than slippers. Teeter, set your height and your weight with this little knob right here in coordination with this little knob here, setting it in these holes accordingly, up or down according to your height and your weight so that the teeter will be completely balanced for you. Teeter ergonomic, very well cushioned ankle locks. Teeter platform, now that we have the correct shoes on, let's get on board. You want to hang on to the handles, surround yourself on the platform, resting your butt against the teeter, not resting your back against the teeter, just your butt. Push this button, pull it out, you hear those clicks, pull it out, position your feet in the ankle locks on the foot bar on the bottom, press the button, click it in, it's locked in place. Now we are ready. Again, position yourself over the platform, rest your butt against the teeter, not your back. Lift your foot up, put it on the foot pedal that's right underneath and in between the ankle locks. You're naturally gonna push yourself up. Put your other foot in on top of the foot pedal inside the open ankle lock. Again, press your button here and you're gonna hear these clicks. Click yourself in. Make sure you're locked in. Scoot your butt up again a little bit. Make sure she's locked, she's not coming out, and you are ready to start teetering. Always keep your hands, both hands, on the bars and slowly move your way back. Because gravity's taking you back, okay? Nothing else but gravity. That's why it's important to have your height and your weight locked in there. Always have at least one hand on the bar at all times. Two is better. You want to sit here for a few minutes. I'm going to spare you the time on that. And I'm going to get back into my next position by raising one hand over my head. Lifting one hand at a time over your head because it's the completely weight of your hand that moves the teeter your body up a little bit. The more you scooch, the more it goes down. I have this cushioned area because you can take the teeter all the way down to the floor. 
I feel comfortable having this ottoman here and resting right here. So slowly take your other hand, move it down. And now I am currently in approximately probably 75% upside down on my teeter here. So, and this is how we do it. I would stay in this position for as long as you feel comfortable, anywhere from two to three minutes to maybe even eight or 10. Again, you can take this all the way down if you wish. This is part of my instructions and I keep an ottoman here. And to come back up, raise your hand slowly because the weight of your hand is going to be pushing you up one hand at a time, number two. Grab the bar over here. Slowly take your other hand and let the weight bring you back up. I would also stay in this position for a few minutes. Don't rush anything. And now you can grab these top bars over here. If you can even see me. <laughs> and slowly lift your head up, bringing the balance back to the top. Raising one arm up at a time, slowly, and grabbing onto either this bar or this bar, whichever is most comfortable for you. Only one hand at a time, number two. Raising the next arm up slowly, not quickly, uh, whichever bar is comfortable for you, this one or this one. Because again, it's the weight of your arms that's pulling you up see how the teeter is now positioned differently because the weight is bringing me up. Now you want to slowly lift your neck. I like putting my hands on this bar right here. Now come it up and slowly lift your back up a little bit and shift your weight until you are eventually in the erect position again. Now it is safe to unlock your ankle. Okay, so now it is safe to come out of the teeter. Again, push the button and move your ankle locks up. Bring your feet down to the platform and move yourself out. Head down, push the button. on the platform and swinging yourself up. Thank you so much for watching Joanne's inspirational videos and reviews and my instructions on the teeter. And that concludes my instructions on using the teeter. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to watch more, I do have another teeter video. It's a half an hour long almost, I think about 28 minutes. And it shows all the time I spent on the teeter. But here's to my health. And yours. Thanks for watching. Woo! So thanks for watching. My instructions on the teeter.